Hello everyone! Proxas here, welcome to episode number 80 of our Pokemon Shining Pearl Comparison Let's Play. On the last episode, we uh, took our adventure to catch uh, Cresselia. Also, we awakened Eldritch's son uh, with the uh, Lunar Wing, I think it's what it's called. Do we still have it in our box? I don't think we do. Nope. Uh, it's a one use. one time use key item. But yeah. Uh, that's what we did. Uh, the Cresselia, I was not going to waste more time roaming, <laughs> trying to catch the roaming version, so we used the, the min look technique and it actually worked. Min look plus a uh, timer ball actually worked. So, yeah, so that also helped when we first encountered it that I could use the Thunder Wave right away. So, I'm glad about that. But yeah, uh, we caught it and now. We are going to continue with the walkthrough, what the walkthrough says. But first, uh, in our rotation team, I just noticed that, that we don't have that much... Uh, we don't have every typing. We're missing Dragon, Ice and Rock. Which I guess I can live without. But considering that my favorite typing is Ice types, it's kinda uh, ugly <laughs> that I don't have an Ice type. So, we're gonna go and do get that ice type and who else would it be none other than the EV that we received from BB. I know it's a brave nature I said that I was going to try to encounter another one with a better nature but yeah why not uh, I might have to switch the nickname from this EV so that it fits the party so yeah that's what we'll be doing right now uh, and for that uh, we have uh, to get to the icy rock, and uh, that is outside of uh, this town, if I'm not mistaken. This is the ice route, so it has to be around here somewhere, right? Okay. Uh, let's not waste our time with these things. Mm. Let's try to find uh, the... Icy Rock. I know it's not called the Icy Rock, but... Because the Icy Rock is the one that makes the hail last longer. Uh, it has to be here somewhere, right? This is the Ice Route. If the Ice Rock is not here, I think it was over here. Haha! We're off. Uh, yes, let's use another one. This has to be it. The boulder is encrusted with ice. It is a bone chilling to touch. Okay. So, technically, if I level up uh, the EV here, uh, we can actually make it, it evolve. No, it has to be in treasures, right? Big Pearl, Canto Slate, Helix Puzzle, Lambert, Do -do -do, Star Beast, Two Shards, Pearls. I don't have rare candies. I should have them, I don't you Okay, there we go. Uh, let's uh, use a rare candy on Eevee. Just one. Point. <laughs> what? Eevee's evolving. Glaceon. So, uh, welcome to the party, Glaceon. Uh, as well as I uh, trained Coblins, I have to train you, so <laughs> this is going to be fun. Glaceon, the fresh snow Pokemon. As a defense mechanism, it can completely freeze its fur to make its hairs stand out like needles. Wow. So you kind of become a porcupine? Icy Wind! Of course you can learn Icy Wind. Um, I guess I can read off uh, Growl for now. And yeah, Glacian is gonna chill on the party until we can actually use her in battle. Okay. 
so that's what I wanted to do here. Now let's uh, move on to what uh, the walkthrough says. I guess I could have trained the both of them at the same time, but yeah. That was my bad. I don't know if I said this, but uh, you can actually get more EVs at the Pokemon Mansion, but because it's uh, like the events from the Swarm Pokemon, and you can only get one Pokemon on the rotation of whatever it is, and it's going to take even longer, so that's why I decided now to add uh, the Glacier to the party. So, yeah. Uh, the walkthrough says go to uh, and talk to the sailor because now he can get you to the Iron Island. He says, Sailor Eldridge will now be able to bring you to Iron Island as before. If you want, he can also bring you to Full Moon Island again. Head to Iron Island, remember that in here there is an empty house going inside. You'll find that Byron is there. And uh, let's do that. I'm also gonna check a full moon island to see if there's like something we can find here. And with our rotation team, and we have no duplicate typings, which I really like. But there are no rock dragons in this game. And that's a little sad. But yeah. I guess I can have a rock and a dragon, but having two more on the rotation team, it's not a good. <laughs> so, yeah, and mainly I'm adding the ice type because that's my favorite typing, and it's kind of weird. I feel weird without my ice type on the party, so, yeah. Hello, Byron. <clears throat> You're in training, then. You know, my son trains as hard as you do, but I still treat him as if he were a child. He's Ridiculous, really. He's a proper team leader and all. It's always a tricky between a father and son, it seems. <clears throat> I've wasted your time. Take this as my apology. A metal coat! Okay. There are Pokemon that evolve into steel types by using that metal coat. They need to hold that item while being traded to evolve. Try using it if you'd like. Farewell. What? We're just here to give us the <laughs> metal coat and leave. Interesting. Talk to him and he'll give you the metal coat, then he'll leave. Now fly to Veilson City to get ready for another trip to of catching a legendary Pokemon. Wow, there's another legend for us to catch. Jesus Christ. When are we gonna go to the upper part of the region? Jesus Christ. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, go to Veilstone City. Can I can I fly there or do I have to? I guess I can fly. Can I fly to Moonlight? Can you get me from here to Moon Moon Island? Just to see. Nope. I have to go to Canlave first. No, 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 I... Okay, let's try this again on Full Moon Island. Okay, I pressed the right button now. Here it doesn't say we can find anything. I'm just curious to see if anything changes from this game to the other. Oh, I got excited there for a second, but it was just the repel. Oh, that's sad. Okay. I guess we can just uh, fly to wherever we have to go, and it is a Veilstone City. No, it's this one? No. It's one of these blue ones, if I'm not mistaken. Never mind. It's this one, haha. <laughs> I knew it from the beginning.
Do 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 do. Uh, you need a Pokemon with a Defog, Rock Smash, and a Rock Climb. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's switch these two. Is it five or six? No. Oh, it's the twenty. Okay. Okay, just when we need it. Okay. So here it says head south from base to CD to route two fourteen. Excuse me. To route two fourteen. Okay. Uh, sting. Travel south, staying as close as you can to the line of trees to your right. To your right. My right, this is the right. Uh, huh. Okay. Nothing happens. Because that one's left, this is right. Something here? Okay. I'm gonna continue reading to see what I have to find. And you come to a path that wasn't there before, previously. The, there were only two trees missing. But now the whole path opens up. Enter the path before continuing. Make sure that you have a Pokemon that knows the after mentioned HM moves. Be aware that the wild Pokemon are over level 60 and the legendary is at level 70. In order to catch the legendary Pokemon without the Master Ball, you should bring 40 or more Dusk Balls. Okay. So, around here somewhere, there should be a path that opens up, apparently, to the right. I see no path. And I think. Ooh, this is the path. Spring path. If I'm honest, I'm a little bit scared. Send of spring. I don't think the repel is gonna be working here, but okay, because we're gonna catch a legendary that it's level seventy or something. Uh, let's bring some of the these people. Uh, I, I'm keeping the mystery of the Pokemon, because it says it's a legendary, so I'm pretty sure that we haven't got it yet, <laughs> on like the Rotom. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think I am going to bring uh, Cozy the bulk, and because of the sound, I have a guess on which Pokemon we are going to encounter, but you're already high level. Actually, you are gonna resist, I think. If it's the Pokemon, I think uh, these uh, people should uh, be okay, I guess. Okay. <laughs> mm, okay, there's Rock Climb. The wall is rocky, would you like to use rock climb? Yes. Spring path. This mysterious path is called the spring path. The creepy music and its unexplained appearance out of nowhere may give you the feeling that something evil is waiting for you. Keep walking east and enter Send of Spring at the end of this short path. Yeah, this music is not like... You're gonna catch Shaman or whatever. I miss the event of Shaman. I'm, I'm so mad about that. Okay, there's that. Uh, I want to check if there's like an item or something. Can I jump? Ah! No. I should be able to jump there. Anyways. 
Sand of Spring, according to your map, this is the fourth lake. The fourth lake? Here it says, uh, the fourth lake of Sino that was kept secret. What? I don't remember doing this at all. I know it's been a long while since I played the original games, but I don't remember doing this. Ah, no, I didn't want to go in there. Turn back cave. Okay, the fog. According to your map, this is the fourth lake of the Sino that was very kept a secret. This whole new location is is very mysterious, isn't it? Okay. Uh. Oh, okay. So there's something there. According to you, uh, sorry. In here, you can encounter a gold dog and knocked out a chime echo, Storidia, and a beeper ale. Uh, surfing and fishing, a gold dog, a magic garb, goldeen. Seeking and Gyarados. Special Pokemon, uh, Sorrock and Lunatone. You need uh, the dual slot, uh, Sapphire or Ruby. Please. Go through the patch of tall grass and climb up the wall. The bridge you see in front of you leads out into empty space. Go around the large crater and you're on the edge of and use rock climb. On the place that you needed, directly opposite to where you started, and then enter the cave. There are no trainers to be found, but there's a... there are Pokémon that are at high level, probably above level 70. In the cave, you can find Golbat, Hunter, Bronzor, and Bronzong. Special Pokémon, Lunaton, and Soul Rock. Uh, well, there's a list of Pokémon depending on which rooms you actually encounter, so. Go through the cave, I guess. That's what the, the thing says. Uh, I need some help. So, actually, I want Dr. Lysian to follow me. Uh, no one can follow me, okay. Give the lucky egg to Glacian. He needs it more than you do. Okay. Okay, so there are four rooms, and uh, let's start with the left one. Do I need to read? I guess I need to read. Okay, yeah. I think this is a puzzle, so... Let's start reading. I would like to explore everything, but... I don't think we have enough time to do so. Past the three pillars to the sleeping before 30 is surpassed. Okay. I'm not so sure what we are gonna find, but okay. Oh, this is the same room! Past repeaters, okay. If I go to, to the left, I come out from the right. If I go through the right... Yeah. Interesting. Past three pillars to the sleeping before 30 is surpassed. Okay. So I guess I have to go through the front one. Okay. I can just go around. Hmm. Let's go through the left. Okay. This is one of the locations that I found, but one, two. One, two. And let's go to the left. Okay. I guess now I need to use a rock smash. Or maybe not. Well, actually, if I use rock smash, it's because I don't have enough repels. 
Uh, I like going to the left, so let's go to the left. Okay. These rocks are different. Oh no, this is again the one, two. Two, five! <laughs> Maybe I should follow the walkthrough. I actually think I'm doing okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the same accommodation that was there before. Wow! Who's in front? Marisa. This bronze song is above level 60. Wow! Okay, this is going to be good training anyways. I don't defense. I actually thought there were not going to be that many Pokemon that are out level to me. I guess we're going through the right uh, places because I'm not gonna waste my Shadow Balls. You have a special defense drop, so <laughs> this should take you out. <laughs> Glacium getting all the levels. That's funny. I thought there were going to be more. Why not a uh, priority move? Attack. She can learn also Shadow Ball. Uh, baby Doll Eyes. No. I don't want to know Baby Doll Eyes. Okay. Let's go through here again. Okay, it's this accommodation now. Okay, going all the way to the left, it's going to be maybe the guy, the good way to go. If I find myself in the same area that where we got in, I'm gonna follow the walkthrough so that we actually get through this place. Rain dance. Interesting. It started to rain! I shard! Even better, because that's stab. See, that's where the brave nature comes in handy. <laughs> Okay, the stairs go up and down. Is this... 310? Interesting. Ah! <laughs> I did not expect it to be this easy. I just went to the left. Okay, now that we know which Pokemon is here. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, okay, <clears throat> this is it, the place where another legendary Pokemon named Giratina lives. Giratina was once as well known as Dialga and Palkia, but it was banished here and uh, forgotten because of its violence long ago. When Dialga controls time and Palkia controls space, Giratina controls and time matter. These three legendary Pokemon from the form the creation trio. 
This cave is an ancient cemetery and the dimensions are said to be distorted here. Giratina is a powerful ghost a dragon type Pokemon. While defog is not strictly necessary, using it will make it easier. Rock Smash will help you get through this cave faster. This cave is unique that in all of the rooms are randomized upon entry. In other words, the cave is different each time you enter it. The, t the inscription in front of you, which reads past the three pillars, offer up to the before 30 is surpassed, is a hint. You must go through three rooms with the pillars without going through more than 30 rooms in order to find Giratina. Since the rooms are randomized, this is how you get through. Each room has four doors, each on one, one on each side. Before advancing to a door, check the pattern of the rocks on each side. If rocks on a side has a pattern that is different from the opposite, the room on that side is where you need to go through. Okay. Before advancing to a door, check the pattern of the rocks on each side. If rocks on a side pattern on a side has a pattern that is different from the opposite, the room that is okay. I think I get that, and I we kind of did that. Mm. Just kind of, not so well. So, uh. If there's a pattern on on the top, you have to go through the pattern on the bottom. That's how I understand this. Uh, I don't know how to explain it better. But we went all left and we encountered Giratina, so <laughs> that also <laughs> that also works. <sighs> I'm gonna lead oh, bringing. Actually, I can box Marisa. Uh, I'm gonna lead with goblins so that I can thunder wave it. Okay. If you find a room with a pillar, read the inscription. The first number that appears is how many pillars you've found. The second number is the number of rooms you've been through. All you can do is keep going. Escape ropes can't be used here can't be used here. If you get lost or want to start over, go through where you enter the room and you'll be back to the first room. If you go through 30 rooms and still having gone through the third pillar, any door will bring you back to the first room. As you go through more rooms, the wild Pokemon will be stronger. Okay. When you reach your Giratina's room, heal your Pokemon if necessary. Check that you have at least 40 Dust Balls with you. Save your game and talk to it to catch Giratina. Okay, so that's the only thing that we have left to do. Uh, we're not seriously damaged. Hmm. I am gonna bring... Instead of Marisa... Tokebizu, because fairy. And I don't think Marisa is going to do that much damage, either. Mm. Yeah, so, sorry. Let's... Okay, so... Again, let's save. That's not the save button. We have to go to the menu to save. Just in case something happens. And we actually got that to you. You look kinda tiny. Say hello to the thumbnail. Maybe not. But yeah. <laughs> Bitch on! Okay. Giratina appeared! Come on, Coblins! This music is fire. That was 20. Well, we cut the Regis. Or a spear. Okay. Ouch. I'm actually kind of surprised that we lived that. Okay, now. Uh.
I think this church is gonna do more damage than the Electro Ball. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Pain Split! Uh, thank you. <laughs> that helped me more than me. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> thank you for healing me. Wow, pain split. That's wild. I guess I can go into cozy. Are you? I know this view is gonna kill Glaceon, so. I'm thinking which is going to be the best answer to this thing. Because Coblets can't hit that uh, hard. But yeah, Cozy has leftovers, so he's our best bet. And I don't think we can get it uh, lowered, lower enough. Because a pain split's a thing. Let's see how much you do, Cozy. <laughs> More than Coblins. Ooh, special defense drop. Pain split. Okay. You're already at uh, below half. I'm afraid if I use another flash cannon, you're gonna take it out. Okay, let's see. I need heavy balls, heavy balls, heavy balls. I need, I need heavy balls. Okay. Can I use it? Ah. <laughs> I think in previous uh, games uh, when a Pokemon used the dig, you can you could actually use it, dig bounce or stuff like that. Mm. We're already faster. Oh, I can set up to trying to intimidate. I don't know if that works, but. I can try it. So we've seen Aura Sphere, Pain Split, Shadow Force. Wow! That was a lot of damage. Well, if anything happens with that uh, Shadow Force, I think we can. Uh, Cure, heal, cozy, to take the hit. Ah, why aren't there any heavy balls or a spear? Wow, that's even with the quiver dance. That's wild. Wow! Giotina was easier to catch it than Cresselia. <laughs> I mean, I think it's just because of the chances, and those balls are uh, better in dark places, so. Yeah! We caught Giotina! <laughs> Bite! I guess to have some. Uh, is it better than tackle? Yes, it is better than tackle. 
He learned a bite instead. Getting a Zara will be added to the Pokédex. Giratina, the Renegade Pokémon. A Pokémon that is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours. It appears in an ancient cemetery. So this is the ancient cemetery. Nope. Uh, let's see Giratina's summary. Bold nature, so let's let's attack more defense. Wow, that's with a less attack nature, you actually did more damage to Gozi. Or physical wall. Shadow Force, Pin Split, or a Spear and Dragon Claw. That was the last move we didn't see. Interestingly, all uh, attacking moves but Pain Split. Nice. Okay. Uh, center the box. I'm not gonna use Giratina. I know it's a dragon type. <laughs> but yeah. This is where life sparkles. This is that where life sparkles. That where life has faded. A place where two worlds overlap. I guess that they changed these into the distortion world. Uh, when Platinum came out. And this is the entrance. Oh, there's another door here. Ooh. Okay. I know how to get out, but... Here the box throw says that we can actually get some items. We can get a Reaper Cloth, a Rare Bone, and a Stardust. I guess the Reaper Cloth is the only one I'm interested in. But you know what, uh, let's just leave. And there's no reason for us to be here. The snow would be nice to have, but I think there's a, there are other ways for me to get that item, so... Okay! So, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here. On the next episode, we're gonna continue with this uh, walkthrough. Uh, I don't know which... Uh, what this thing says... Yeah, uh, in the original games, uh, I'm just gonna wrap things up with this, what this uh, playthrough says about Giratina. He says that the Giratina had a Shadow Force, Heal Block, Earth Power, and Slash. I think it's what said now it's a little bit more dangerous with Pain Split, Dragon Claw, and Forest Fear. And actually Togepisu was a big uh, wall for this thing, so that's also nice. <sighs> Giratina is an extremely, has, a string, has an extremely large amount of HP and its attack and special attack stats are great. Its defense and special defense are alright for a legendary Pokemon that is. But the amount of HP of Giratina has it won't be easy to take it down soon. Its lowest stat is its speed and even that's, that isn't terrible. Uh, Jotina knows very dangerous moves, blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Jotina's Shadow Force can't be blocked by Protect or Detect. Thankfully, this move has only 5 PP, but if the Pokemon it hits isn't a normal type Pokemon, which is immune to ghost type attacks, it can really hurt or even knock out your Pokemon in one hit. After catching with Giratina, read the inscription. Any of the doors here will automatically take you back to the entrance room. Every time you come back, there will be an item in the same spot. Oh. If you accidentally knock out a Giratina, or if Giratina defeats you, or you run out of Pokeballs, just a soft reset will, uh, will work for you to catch it again. That's why you were told to save. Okay. So yeah, uh, 
that was of catching a Giotina. And yeah, again, uh, that's it for today's episode. On the next one, we're gonna continue with whatever the walkthrough says. But for now, that's it. I think for watching, leave a like, you did, and it's time, Trapido. Bye bye.